Hey there, welcome back to News of Four. I'm meteorologist Julia Quady. So here in the coastal bend, it's soggy and gloomy out there all across the area. Right now, taking a look at our CCAC sky cam over in Snoopy's Pier. We can see all those gloomy skies out there. For now, over at least in Snoopy's, we can see we're having a bit of a pause of those showers passing through. But in other areas in the coastal bend, we're still seeing a continuation of those scattered showers pushing through the area. Right now, taking a look at Doppler radar, we can see it's a little bit scattered. As we said, in nature, we're going to be expecting those scattered showers all throughout the coastal bend with our daily rain chances. For today on your Tuesday, we can see we, see some, we can see some scattered showers mostly passing through parts of Corpus Christi as well as San Patricio, uh, Refugio and B counties there. Of course, noted with some of those splotches of orange and red. We can see those the heavier bits of those downpours passing through right now this afternoon. But we are going to expect those showers to begin to taper off a little bit and decline before they pick up once again as we look ahead to the evening and overnight hours. Right now, though, taking a look at our temperatures and flight temperatures all across the coastal bend, we can see for the most part we're kind of below average with our temperatures this afternoon. And that's, of course, going to be due to all those showers that we see passing through. So, of course, with that shower activity happening and, of course, the lack of sunshine out out there that's going to limit our temperatures from getting all but too warm for this afternoon. Here in Corpus Christi, we're currently sitting at 80 degrees, 84 in Robstown, 92 for the folks in Kingsville, 87 in Mathis, as well as Ingleside, and 84 degrees on over in Rockport. So again, still cooler, below average temperatures, but of course, with that moisture and humidity out there also happening with those showers, there is going to be that twinge of humidity that you still will see as you head outdoors for us this afternoon, potentially. And take a look at our rain chances. Like I said, we do expect our showers to begin to decline a bit and taper off as we head into this evening, maybe isolate at best for our shower activity. But then as we head into the overnight hours, early morning on your Wednesday, We'll start to see our rain chances really begin to peak up and kick up a couple notches, getting back to that scattered and numerous and widespread range all across the coastal bend. So, of course, this graphic mostly shows for areas around Corpus Christi, Owls, as well as Beeville. So that takes into account our coastal and inland neighborhoods will all most likely be seeing an uptick in their rainfall activity as we look ahead to your Wednesday morning and pretty much all throughout most of the day. Now, while we are expecting, of course, a lot of shower activity, it doesn't necessarily mean a washout that's just going to be continuing to happen nonstop will be a stop and pause and uh, continuation with those showers, but just won't be a continue onslaught that we're expecting for tomorrow and for the next few days. But part of the reason why we're expecting all the continuation of the shower activity is because we're going to have this frontal boundary that's going to begin to push its way a little bit closer to us here in the coastal bend in South Texas. So that's going to be a little bit of a spark from all the moisture and instability that we currently have in the coastal bend, just getting a little bit more amped up as that frontal boundary continues to push its way here into South Texas. So for that reason, that's what we're going to have those daily rain chances day after day here in the coastal bend. As we take a look at our graphic here, we can see pretty much for the next few days, we're going to be pretty likely to see some scattered showers all throughout the area throughout this week, even continuing to the weekend. And it's only potentially going to start to taper off as we look ahead towards the end of your weekend and to early next week. We'll finally start to see a decline in our rain chances by that point. So in terms of our rainfall totals, we'll be looking at a pretty hefty uh, sum in terms of our rainfall accumulation over the next few days here in the coastal bend, but chilly, potentially up to three or maybe five inches of rainfall, especially for our coastal neighborhoods and communities. So again, Again, looking at that, we'll be in some for pretty beneficial rainfall here in the coastal bend that we definitely do need. So taking a look at your seven day forecast again, lower temperatures that will remain to be below average with scattered showers throughout the rest of this week.